Hi all, welcome to my La Liga Team of the Season predictions video. Look at a decent, tasty Team of the Season to get ourselves into. Let me know in the comments down below folks who you fancy for a Team of the Season card and is there any in particular that um, I may have missed in my predictions as you go into them. So you're welcome to smash the likes, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posts on the channel and social media links as always. So we start off with our three goalkeepers of Ter Stegen, Oblak and Neto. Ter Stegen being very, very consistent in goals and he's kind of made his number one spot at Barcelona these days and just looks like a pretty tasty 96 rated card. I think one card that we would definitely be a bit excited about um, and a def definite alternative in net to um, like Neuer for example for the best German goalkeeper. Oblak, uh, Atletico always pride themselves on a very strong defensive fortress. Oblak being a key focal point of that as always. Doesn't always get the credit that he sometimes deserves and definitely deserving of a good card. I would hope that he gets a bit more speed on him actually, I will admit for what he put together but as I said, I generally just have went with like plus 7 or plus 8 on some stats accordingly or even plus 6 in some cases. And Neto Valencia are one of the best defensive units this season and a big part of that has came down to Neto and definitely deserving of a team of the season card I would say um, the only other goalkeeper that I would say that um, well, there's two is Pacheco and Soria for um, Getafe and Alves respectively but I feel Neto is the strongest shout for the third goalkeeper position and would be more than deserving if you've only conceded at this point in the season around 20, 20, uh, 23 goals this season you're more than deserving um, four defenders to start off with of Jordi Alba, uh, Lucas Hernandez, Godin and Sergi Roberto I think the one that will be most interesting to a lot of people is that Hernandez card obviously for those that rock up with Team of the Year Varane for example having another PC French centre-back alongside will definitely be very appealing. Uh, Jordi Alba obviously going maybe say 95 rated and always seems to get that 99 pace in the end. And it's all just a case of um, good passing, good dribbling, defending and physical. Obviously from a shooting perspective Jordi Alba is never the most appealing card but I wouldn't exactly say 77 shooting is total disaster. You can easily get the right chem style on them to boost them up accordingly and then just imp improvise from there if you're wanting a, an attacking left back. Godin always one of these players that's deserved a team of the year, he always gets consistently in team of the season, always deserves a spot to be honest, one of the best centre backs in the world and hopefully he gets the right boost accordingly just to make him at least look a little bit appealing um, from a pace defending physical um, acumen and I wouldn't imagine um, much different and Sergio Roberto being very very consistent he could be one of these defenders that gets into most consistent and then put into La Liga's team of the season my only real um, this I would say qualm about his card could be that it might be a bit more expensive than it is which I hope it isn't because he's, like, it'll be well rounded, it'll be a well rounded card. It's just hopefully it's not say like 300k when it should really be 200k for example or it's 150, uh, sorry it's 200 when it should be 150 kind of acumen. Then three other defenders to focus on. I'm, I'm intrigued to see who else includes Maria Pan in their predictions. The Chilean and Alaves defender has been very impressive for them this season, for what I've watched of Alaves anyway, um, which is a fair amount of the league for that matter, and he got a nice upgrade in earlier in the year to boost him from a silver to a gold, and has definitely deserved a good boost again from a gold non-rare to a team of the season he could also be potentially in most consistent and he also potentially could be an objective card for Poe now nationality wise I wasn't 100% sure what to give him because I've seen obviously the Spanish card that was given from and he's also got a Dominican Republic card still the interesting thing the reason why I've gave him a Dominican Republic card is because his 
upgrade was given as that nation. So I thought, what's the score here? And because it was under 21 level for Spain, he's not a full national yet for um, Spain. So it's touch and go, and it was never easy, but it would be a very nice like, 89, 90 rated card. And PK always consistently gets into team of the season if Barca obviously go deep into the Champions League. It makes his team of the season card a little bit more interesting with him. What does he become? Does the team of the season potentially go higher or does the UCL Live? I think the UCL Live peaks out at like 94 or 95. But it's going to be interesting how PK plays out. Um, always lacks in the pace, but decent um, physical defending usually you find on his card. But for me, Furpo is definitely the interesting one of these three that I think a few people will want, especially if it gets if it's Spanish, it'll go for a lot more Dominican Republic a little bit less, I think. The midfield five that we'll focus on first is of Parejo, Ocelzo, Sarabia, Sol and Rakitic. Parejo being absolutely consistent in midfield for Valencia, being a big part of um attacks. He's also got a few informs into um his book, but he's just been very consistent. Yes he lacks the pace but he's very good um, on the ball from a passing and dribbling perspective and good physical acumen about him as well. I wouldn't exactly knock him. Ocelzo being a very shrewd signing for them at um, Real Betis uh, um, from PSG and proving in a sense why like PSG have him in the first place. But Ocelzo for me will be an interesting card. Um, obviously he's got a team of the group stage card and he also got an upgrade. And I would say a team of the season card to boost them would be very, very appealing. Sarabia obviously has his headliners card and will be um, a very interesting central card since his pace, um, sorry, his, his pace, shooting, passing, dribbling are all very impressive, but he has like no physical, like absolutely no physical on him whatsoever. So that will be a very interesting centre mid. So could end up in most consistent and end up in the main team itself, but regardless he is more than deserving of his spot. Could even potentially get into the all 80 club, possibly by team this season, it's not a guarantee of course, but it'll be interesting to see what boosts they give him. And Rakitic, another very consistent midfielder, whether it be in the league or Europe. But the interesting thing is, this might also be his last season, because there has been talk of him being transferred elsewhere, potentially to Italy or Germany, which would be interesting, but he's made sp the Spanish league is on and he's been one of the best midfielders quite um, consistently in the league for the last number of years. On to some forwards, we have got Messi, Griezmann and Suarez. Messi is no surprise. Interesting thing will be is 99 rated I would assume. The biggest question is what position do they give him because he's been between centre forward, he's been striker um, or right wing. So it will be very interesting to see what they do for him. My feeling is that they will go with a right winger just to change it up because obviously his team of the year is a centre for um, a centre forward striker. So it will be interesting to see um, what demand there would be in a right wing team of the season card. Griezmann obviously has just been consistent as per usual in the league and also in Europe. And obviously, with Atletico now out of Europe, you've now got this kind of card is the next major boost to expect and we'll have um, a lot of interest in him, especially for folks that would like to link him up to the likes of Mbappe for example, and even like maybe prime moments in Henri, um, to name us another, and obviously Luis Suarez, who in the second half of the season has been very, very impressive, maybe not had as many informs as maybe some might expect, and there is the assumption that he'd maybe slowed down a bit, but if you watch the Villarreal game for example, him um, from last night, he was very impressive in that performance, getting the late goal which kind of got the draw for Barcelona, and it's those type of goals that sometimes just makes all the difference, like you'll have good physical, good shooting, but it'll hopefully have just enough pace to at least make him be deemed a usable striker, and to be honest you can easily put um, Shadow on that type of card, and it'll make him even more usable, like obviously defensive stats you're not overly worried about but when you can boost up the head and accuracy for good measure it never hurts in all honesty. Then five other forwards to focus on 
Dembele obviously he's got a headliners card as well and has been a very focal point in Barcelona's team this season outshining Coutinho for example in that left wing position um, a lot of pressure obviously was probably put on Dembele for this season but he has shown um, to be a very astute player this season obviously last year he was kind of hampered by injuries and he obviously had a good upgrade in earlier in the year Stuani consistently for Girona proving his worth the former Middlesbrough forward definitely deserving a team of season and he's had a few informs um, to go in as well and surprisingly not given an upgrade he was one I was expecting an upgrade and I will be honest that 93 rated card that I've given him could have easily been 94 or even 95 rated depending if they gave him a boost but he could be a fun um, alternative to Luis Suarez for example and Aspas always seems to be consistent these days in Spain, the ex-Liverpool forward. And will be an interesting little card to expect. Obviously, Celta Vigo's not having the season that they expected. Aspas has been kind of the difference maker for them throughout the year. And a nice boost on him, I think, will be merited. Especially since, obviously, the SBC card is currently his highest rated. And then Ben Yedder being another key severe component and will be a nice tasty tea, uh, tasty team of the season card and I think could be in high demand as well and obviously Benzema one of the brighter moments in Real Madrid's team. Now finally the four objective cards that we will focus on is two from Getafe in the form of Soria and Mata and then Hermoso and Canales. Now Soria has been a very impressive goalkeeper for Getafe this season same for Pacheco for Alves, both Getafe and Alves possibly um, over could be deemed as overachieving but realistically you could say they're not because they've just gone about their business and got themselves into European places and been very consistent throughout the year. Um, Soria keeping um, his end of the bargain in a goalkeeping view and Mata from an attacking perspective. Hermoso been very impressive. Last year he went from silver to gold same happened this year, he was given a silver to a gold and he's just consistently been very consistent at the back. Could you imagine him as an objective card having to play, say, win 10 rivals games with a La Liga squad? That would be kind of um, crazy, but um, I think if you can get a 90, 90 plus pace centre back in your team through 10 rivals games to win, I think we'd be quite delighted. And Canales, who got a nice upgrade earlier in the year, um, been very consistent he, so he could be your most consistent so potentially if that was to happen he may not end up in as the objective card but there is a chance regardless that he may be one of the options they may opt for as a weekly objective and it would be a nice card regardless especially since he would be 89 rated and would be a popular SBC fodder I would imagine for team of the season SBCs later in the camp, uh, promo as it were but let me know, folks, in the comments down below if there is anyone else that I may have missed in my team of the season predictions. And also let me know in the comments what you think of them. So take it easy all, thanks for watching, and I will catch you all later for more FIFA 19 content.